Hello all and I hope you are doing well and learning new skills daily. In today's video we are going to learn another useful formula in Excel and that is if error. This formula is so important that your knowledge about Excel formula is not complete without knowing if error. In this small tutorial we are going to use if error with VLOOKUP formula. I have made a separate video on VLOOKUP. If you want to learn that, please check that video. This is the master database of these 20 employees and their sales from January to December. What we want to do, we want to extract the sales for January month for these 7 employee IDs. We can go ahead and put VLOOKUP formula and extract the sales for the month of January. So all these employee IDs are there which are present in this master database. That is the reason I have put here VLOOKUP and could extract the results for these 7 employee IDs. But what if any of this cell, any of this employee ID cell is empty or contains the employee ID which is not present in the master database. So let us go ahead and I will delete this particular cell. You can see here I am getting here a VLOOKUP in the VLOOKUP formula I am getting error as any and because of that my total is getting hampered here. In this cell I have used VLOOKUP along with if error formula and you can see when I delete this if there is uh, there is nothing in this cell that is lookup value is not there then I am getting here as an empty cell. Because of that, I am getting a total of all other cells, all other employees. I am getting, getting a total over here which is not getting impacted even if my VLOOKUP formula does not give me the result. And it is giving me the blank cell. Isn't it amazing? Interesting? So let us go ahead and see how to use will if error formula along with VLOOKUP. If error formula gives specified result if we get any error in the result of the formula, that error can be hash na, hash value, hash reference, hash div oblique 0, etc. In this case, we are going to use if error formula along with VLOOKUP. That means if VLOOKUP gives any error, I will get a specified result which I mentioned in the formula. So let us go ahead and put if error along with VLOOKUP. So in this Cell, I am going to put the formula if error and then combine with VLOOKUP. So it will start with is equal to if error, then tab. What is it asking? It is asking value and oblique uh, val uh, comma value if error. Now, first is value. What is the value that I want? I want the VLOOKUP of these numbers with this database. So I will put go go ahead here and put up VLOOKUP formula is equal to VLOOKUP tab then I will put the VLOOKUP formula lookup value is this employee ID comma table array is from this employee ID and this whole table I am selecting I am locking this table with the use of function key F4 the table is being locked because I want to copy the formula from top to bottom from here to here and then comma then for VLOOKUP formula it is asking me column index number column index number for January in this table starting with employee IDs first and second so I will go ahead and put two here comma and then I want the exact value so I will put zero so that completes my VLOOKUP formula where I will extract the sales data for the month of January. So I'll complete the VLOOKUP formula here. My VLOOKUP formula is complete and that is the reason I got here value if error value. So if error formula I put the value so I'll put the comma. Now what is it asking? It is asking value if error. So if there is an error what is that I want over here? Now I will first go ahead and put the blank cell that means I want blank cell if there is an error in the VLOOKUP formula so for that I will use two double quotes two times double quotes and then this completes my if error formula so just check what I put in if error so I use if error before VLOOKUP 
then open bracket then i put vlookup formula completed that using lookup value that is employee id comma table array that is this table array selected from employee id log this table comma second column index number for january so use second comma zero for exact value for vlookup and then complete the vlookup formula and then comma <clears throat> now if error uh, will check if there is an error in the vlookup formula and will give me give me the result which i put after the comma now for, after the comma i put two double inverted commas two quotes two times because i want a blank cell here and then complete the if error formula and then i will go ahead and press enter <coughs> and then copy the formula down you can see here the vlookup formula and if error formula along with vlookup giving me the same result because there is no error in the formula currently i'll go ahead and delete this cell and you can see here i'm getting a blank cell which is not hampering or not impacting my total i'm getting a total of all other cells like 174 174 control z i will use any other uh, employee id which is not there in this master database so i will go ahead and put some random number which is not there in the master database this number is not there in the master database you can see i'm getting error in vlookup formula that is na but here i am getting blank cell which is helping me to get the sum result correctly <coughs> what if i want something to be written over here if i am getting error in the vlookup formula that is that means invalid value or employee id not found like that only thing that i will do over here is that if here error we look up and then if there is an error i want this to be written as not found or employee id not found or invalid i'll go here and between two double inverted commas so if there is an error in the we look up formula between two double inverted commas i'll put not found or employee id not found and complete two double inverted commas so this is what i want a cell if there is an error in the we look up formula employee id employee id not found and then i will enter because all the other cells are correct there is no error i am getting the result but what if i am <coughs> uh, there is an error in the we look up formula i am getting employee id not found so this is the way we use we look uh, we look up along with if error that if there is an error in the we look up formula what should be the result i hope you like this video if you are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and we will meet in the next informative video bye for now